Hi Taurus, my name's Leona from Superconscious Soul and this is your August general reading. So we're having a look at what energies are going on past this eclipse and beyond. So the eclipse is at the end of July. So as we're moving forward to August, what does uh, Taurus need to know for their highest good of all? Right, so they're saying there. So we have the Ten of Cups. Total bliss, emotional fulfillment. We got the hanged man. We got the knight of swords. We have the nine of swords. We have the king of swords in the center. We have the tower. We also have the emperor. We have the wheel of fortune. Woohoo! And we have the page of swords. So, underneath the deck, we have the Seven of Swords. So, there could be a little bit of manipulation. We could feel like somebody's um, trying to get away with something. Or it could feel like you're having to continue despite not feeling really secure about where you're going this month. You're having to kind of face your fears or not face them. In some senses, it's saying to kind of ignore them and still do you in some senses. Still stand in your power here. What you can't see can't hurt you in some senses. But it's also sort of talking about blocking out certain negative um, mental things that are going to make your brain scatter this month. We've got exchanging gifts. So that's about reciprocal energy. We also got from your Ascended Master cards... Trust. So this is asking you to call, trust on the universe. And in some senses, it's saying that once things get into balance, this is about the laws of um, give and take. And once this is in balance, it also breaks down to nine. Yeah, so it could be that you're ending a cycle of being too giving or you're ending a cycle with somebody who's being too um, much of a taker in within that exchange but the universe is asking you to trust and have faith there well, let's take one more nurture yourself so that's about getting yourself grounded and being less about in your head and more um more connected to your joy because we do have the moon in cancer uh, the moon in sagittarius that's present which is very much about your joy we're having clean it up as well. So this is card 21, breaks down to a three. So we're being guided in some sense, like the angels are saying, if there's something that you have to clean up this month, clean it up. Make sure that everything um, is how it's supposed to be, yeah, in preparation for receiving this gift, I believe. So the universe is just telling you to clean up what you need to clean up. You do have, and it's also telling you to kind of make sure that there's any unfinished business, any loose ties need to be cleaned up this month to get everybody on the same page or to be fair, because I've just seen that underneath the deck. So, we have the Ten of Cups coming in the reading. This is about the Happy Family card. This is about joy. This is about abundance. This is about emotional fulfillment. However, there is some Nine of Swords coming in here. Now, this Nine of Swords is all about our fears. It's all about um, our anxieties, the things that are keeping us up at night, other people's opinions. Um, it's all of, It's like stresses, pressure, yeah? Now, it's all about to do with the emperor. Now, this could be about you taking a leadership role within your own life, or it could be to do with the father figure or um, getting some stability within the, the masculine role in the house or getting some stability within the father figure, yeah? Because there are some fears around this here that is stopping this um, ten of cups. We do have something in the center next to the nine of swords where it's like we need to stand in our truth here we have this guy who's willing to kind of kamikaze himself for what he believes in yeah he's not he's like he's he's not 
he's not interested in the blaster or the the fairy tale let's say of what's what's going on around in him some senses he's very much focused on the morality or the 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 conscience or the consequences of the action yeah and he's very hung up because that is above him so it's about standing in your truth taurus it's about being your authentic self regardless of whether it's raining regardless of where it's sunny but it's about standing up for something in some sense and as you do the wheel of fortune turns in your favor it's almost like you're you're being called to take control take hold of your destiny because the the the, the king of swords is about it putting his external mental energy into this yeah and it's also about clarity of truth it's about communication yeah we do have you i feel going forward with this communication because we do have the knight of swords now the warning here is not to be too hasty with the communication or to be too imp impetuous it's about moving forward standing in your truth and taking that 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 energy forward because i feel like you may have tried to do it a few times because we also have the page of swords now the page of swords tries to kind of stand in her truth but she kind of gets a little bit distracted at points or her argument is not as um capable as she would like it to be or it could be that she could be running off for other people's truth now I feel like once you get the energy to do that momentum, we have the tower here. So now the tower comes and takes away. It's like, it's a revelation for a start. And that is, that could be, and it could be um, a message coming in really quick. Once you kind of warm yourself up, it's like you start off slowly, but it's like you're not being heard in some senses. Because here, she can't quite get the stone, the, the rock into the stone. There's too much um, other things there stopping it in some sense so it's it's saying that once you stand in this truth once you go and find out what it is that you're fighting for um it's talking about now we have all them eyes <coughs> being blasted away <coughs> here so the, the tower comes and takes anything away that is built on a dodgy foundation, that is not built on a secure foundation. So it's an epiphany, it's a revelation, it's like, you know what, I need to do this. So, I also feel like the hanged man energy isn't really doing much in terms of your finances as well. You're being called to stand and be your authentic self. We have that lunar eclipse that's coming up in... Um, the end of July yeah so that's about there's a there's a there's a need to kind of be your true be your truth stand in your truth be authentic yeah um to kind of not sacrifice yourself and it's also in some senses yeah not sacrifice yourself let's take a clarifier because we've still got some time. I've also just seen the page of cups under there. So this could also be a relationship or an offer of a relationship that comes in for you. And it's around this Aquarius moon as well. Yeah. Now this offer that comes in, I feel like it's very emotional. It's very sensitive. It's um, a kind of puppy love, so to speak. It could be first date, first... Um, or you feel like you're needing to take that time for yourself, some of you as well. Needing to take that time. It did say nurture yourself here as well. So the Page of Cups does talk about taking some time to nurture yourself. Maybe you're unsure of your emotional energy as well with the Page of Cups. But the stars seem to have hope and faith because this situation is being guided and it's much bigger. And it's also saying that as you nurture yourself, the universe will also kind of, the universe is also trying to nurture you as well. It's trying to give you what's good for you. 
So, yes, they give you what's good for you because we have the Six of Pentacles there and we also have the Death card. So there could be a transformation in terms of what's fair or in terms of the energy that both parties are putting in or both parties are putting in. It becomes more fair because the Six of Pentacles here is talking about somebody feeling like they've given blood and like it's not giving nothing back in some senses. So... There is a transformation of that with the death card. It talks about new beginnings. It talks about transformation. Whether that's new beginnings in your relationship or, or um, endings and new beginnings. So, I really do hope this has helped. If you like a personal reading from me, all the information is in the box below. If you would like to give me a like, a share or subscription, I would really appreciate it. Take care. Stay blessed. Bye-bye. Thank you.